the parameter idea. Same thing that we've done before. But when you guys look at this problem, do we really want to solve for x? We can, but do we really want to solve for x? No, it doesn't look like fun. Come on, I'm like you guys. I don't want to solve for x. Y is much easier to solve for, right? Y over 3 equals t. Done. That's not that bad. Then I plug in what t for y equals 3, or what t equals into this other equation. So I have x equals y over 3 squared minus 2. Now all I simply need to do is square y over 3, which gives me x equals y squared over 9 minus 2. And then if I wanted to solve for y, multiply by 9 on both sides, and I get y squared is equal to 9x plus 18. And you guys can see when y is squared, not x squared, remember quadratics, parabolas, x was squared? Well, now you can see that when y is squared, we now have a parabola that's opening left to right instead of opening up or down like in quadratics, which is, again, a foreshadow of conic sections that we'll be getting into.